Hey, what's up? This is your girl Diamond, and I am bringing you an update on the Bishop Eddie Long scandal. Bishop Eddie Long, also known as the overall mother of the House of New Birth, fifth accuser has been exposed. So I am bringing you all the footage, and here you go. Neil. Centennial Kemp. Hi, Dale Russell. Fox 5 I team. How are you for doing? nearly two months, we searched all over Atlanta for Centino Kemp and finally me? caught up with him leaving the small recording studio. He was happy to talk about his music. You recording music? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm just recording Who some music. That's it. Some I songs for iTunes and YouTube. But he didn't want to talk about anything else. We wanted to ask you about Bishop Eddie Long. Oh. Oh, no comment. Come on. Can we just talk to you for a second? But I am not the man that's being portrayed on the television. Oh, Miss Eddie girl, stop, honey. <laughs> Who is believing you now after you settled? Girl, have a seat, Miss Honey. When you said you was going to throw rocks, I didn't know you meant like jewelry diamond kind of rocks. Because I'm sure that's what them queens is going to be spending your money on. That new birth money. Holla, it's anointed. Mmm, that anointed money. Amen. Four young men, four young men, four young men, four young men, all former members of the New Birth Missionary Baptist Church, filed suit accusing the bishop of lavishing money, trips, and gifts on the young adults while having sexual contact with them. You are not a man, you are a monster. Jamal, you need to shut up. Calling people monsters. Yes, Eddie Long got his issues, but you stupid. New Birth Church members has funded your life for a couple of years. And you're going to go down to Florida and get drug and firearm charges. You're stupid. You're supposed to be sitting back like this getting your dick sucked by somebody off BGC. Or Adam for Adam. Something. The case was finally settled in secret back in May. Sources tell us an undisclosed amount of money was paid to the young men. Bishop Long in court papers denied the allegations and issued a statement saying it was time to move forward. According to various social media posts, Santino Kemp is 22 years old, single, tattooed, and always sporting different looks. He tweets openly of gay rights and dreams of taking the recording world by storm. Are you on a label? Mm, no. It's just for fun and stuff like that. It's not a label. One source says Santino Kemp, raised in the Bahamas, met Bishop Eddie Long years ago during a visit to New Birth while he was a teenage student in a Florida college. The relationship meant enough for him to tattoo Eddie Long's name on his wrist, followed by the words, never a mistake, always a lesson. This whole circus is entirely too much going on. Just one second, and Kemp had nothing to say about the bishop. After walking away from our question, he later sprinted to an awaiting stretch limousine. The secret accuser in the Bishop Long sex scandal drove off, still a mystery, still dreaming of stardom. Oh, no! You want to talk about Bishop Eddie Long? No, I, I have nothing to say. <laughs> what I don't understand is why he had Eddie Long had to be so greedy. He couldn't be like all of the other preachers, you know, the other anti-gay preachers that were exposed. Here's a list of those. Most of them had one little male escort, you know, one little person that they were thrown into the limelight about. No, A. Long couldn't go out like that. That was too small. He had to have five. <laughs> That's great. You're spending the church money now on the career of Mr. Centino Camp. Right, because, you know, he is an upcoming, aspiring recording artist. Here's some of his music. Wow, listen to those lyrics. 
Briggs, huh? As long as I got pornography, I don't care what they say about me. Hmm. Cool. So, Eddie Long, you are funding that. That's nice. Mm -hmm. More power to Mr. Centino Camp. Um, I hope he uses his limelight, um, this new found limelight, um, to advance his career and um, go after whatever dream, you know. My question to my audience is how do you feel about people getting popular by scandal? Even if they are good, do you look at their career and take it seriously? Is it something that, um, could you look at Kim Kardashian and really think of her as a scholar? Could you really think of her as a true artist? Tell me what you all think. This is your girl Diamond, and I want to thank you for watching. Have a good day.